What's going on everyone? How you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So I haven't done a video in a while. I wanted to do this video for people who wanted to upgrade their Gala node. I got a lot of requests for people asking, okay, what's the quickest way to update my Gala node? Why does it keep going down, etc.? Well, Gala just came out with some patches. You can see from this Discord note that they actually came out for a Mac and Windows version 2.3.6. So I'm going to go through everything on how I do it because I have multiple nodes. And what's the easiest way? People are still not sure, you know, if they're doing it right. So I'm just going to go through the full tutorial. It's going to be short and brief. I'm going to put some timelines down below. I'm going to be doing this from my iMac. And I'm also going to be doing it through uh, my Vulture account. So I, I host my Gala nodes on Vulture and Amazon, but I'm going to be doing this upgrade through vulture okay so vulture is cloud host based servers so let's get into it so as you can see from the release notes it says the new versions for mac and windows 2.3.6 what it does is it improves how the client handles authentication adds request retry when network errors occur fix a bug that caused a ui not to reflect the state of the app if authentication was lost adds a user agent header that is unique to the latest to the version of the client okay so linux 2.3.6 so improve logging to troubleshoot common errors improve authentication mechanism to reduce the likelihood of nodes going offline so if you're like me my nodes have gone offline um before they didn't go offline for over a year now they go offline you know it's been probably about twice in the last four months it's, they've gone down and I've got multiple nodes. So it's a tedious task to do this, especially if you have multiple nodes. If you have one node, that's fine. You can reload the software, et cetera, reboot it and hopefully troubleshoot it and it'll get up. But if not, if you've got multiple nodes, you probably want to stay up to date with the latest version. So here, the last part, they say it added a Gala node version command. Okay, um, I'm not too sure what that Gala node version command, but we'll get into the video. So let's log into my Vulture next. And then I'm going to do one of my, my second last node as an upgrade. If you want to get the latest version of the software, and if you want to see if they come up with the latest announcements, what you want to do is if you're a node owner, you want to come over to the Gala node network. And you could look at node owner announcements, right? You click on there and you'll see that underneath node owner announcement, they come up with a, uh, a global announcement for all node holders. Um, and then you want to come over here to node owner. And here you could actually come over to the top right and you look at the pin messages. Underneath the pin messages is where you'll find a lot of troubleshooting commands and a lot of handy commands that I, where I go to get, as well as the latest software, etc. So as you can see, um, the operators the admins post the information like this if you see yours not getting green or offline refer to this please and when you open this site there's a bunch of helpful commands that'll help you out with um troubleshooting your gala node you could also see you know there's some useful node information uh, before you're able to to run your node on a lower um, spec or requirement version of hardware now you it, it needs a certain amount of ram gig and processing power so you could also click on node requirements all right so here we are in my my second last account here for gala so i've named it gala 7a what i'm going to do is just copy this ip address and i'm going to press command plus space on my macbook pro okay if you're doing it from my windows you could probably just open up terminal i don't use putty or anything i just use terminal so i'm just going to use command plus the space bar now it's going to open up spotlight search and you want to type in terminal all right now that we have our terminal up what you want to do is s8 SSH space R O O T root at and then that IP address. And then you want to click on enter. Now it's going to ask, are you sure you want to connect, etc.? And you just put uh, Y E S. All right, now you want to copy this password. Just click on here, paste that in. Now that we're in, we want to follow those commands to get the, the latest version. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to do app upgrade. So this is the command that you want to run is sudo app get updates and studio upgrade, et cetera. So you just wanna click on yes, and that's just gonna update all the security patches, right, before you can actually apply 2.3.6. One thing you also wanna get ready is uh, your Google Authenticator app. If you got your Google Authentication app security enabled, you wanna make sure that you have it so you can put in that code later on. So now that we have that ready, now we wanna go and run this command you could get it off the pin messages but uh, i'll also leave um the commands in the description below so it's wget zero install you could see it install headless headless.sh and just click on enter now you are now installing the linux headless version of the gala node choose yes to continue i just press enter and you could see it, it's installing
All right, now that once it has installed, now you've got 15 minutes to do this. So what you want to do is this, you want to activate this. You want to copy this, control C or command C. You want to open up a new window, paste that in into the URL browser and it says device confirmation. And this is where you want to log into your Gal account and make sure that you have your authenticator app ready. So you confirm this. I've got multiple accounts because like I said, I, I host multiple um, Gala nodes on one account then I've got single ones, right? Okay, so now you want to do put in your username and password. All right, now you want to put in your authentication code. Continue. So now it says congratulations, you're all set. A lot of people stop here. You want to go back to terminal and read it. So see, now you can see it says polling verification status. All right, so you're not done here. You want to follow the instructions fully just so your node doesn't go down or offline in the future. So device configure properly. A lot of people close this window still. No. So you want to make sure you click this founders and you click on save. Now it says your node is configured. It should now run with gala dash no daemon. All right. So now you press on exit ES ESC escape. All right, click on OK. Now you want to run the last command here. You can run gala dash node stats, but I just like to run this, the gala dash no daemon first, and then you can run this, this, the stats command. But I'm going to show you if you actually have 2.3.6 installed, and you'll see this at the top right hand corner of the screen. So you can see here, gala Linux node version 2.3.6. You can see that right there. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You click on escape. Um, now you can just close it or control Z that or terminate or close this window. And that's it for, for upgrading your nodes. And now how do you verify that? And hopefully you don't get any emails. What you want to do is you want to go to your Gala account. You want to come over here to your Gala account. You want to click over here. You want to go to account and then you want to go to node info. And as you can see, you can see your nodes online right here and that's it. Um, if you don't see your nodes online, uh, you might want to go back and just follow that procedure that I did. You could also see it in this terminal command. You can see that, you know, the founder's nodes online right now, eight of seven, okay? So you can see that they're all online. Or you could do a gala-node space stats stats. Then you can see everything, all the information here. Now, if you wanted a rundown of different um, commands that you can do, you could just do gala-node and then press enter. So as you can see, I did gala dash node space version, and you can see that the version is 2.3.6. So that's one way to verify the versions that you have on your nodes running uh, the Linux command. So, so if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest gala information, follow my channel. I'm going to be covering a lot more of the, the coins that I beg a lot. One, which is gala, zero crypto.com, Kronos, Polkadot, and a bunch more. So anyways, that's it for the video. Hope to see you next time and stay safe.